Hey guys, it's HMK once again, and I'm bringing to you another Pokemon Sun and Moon video. I don't really do these much, but the new trailer really got me hyped and really got me intrigued. And I brought a good friend with me along for the ride, a Loa Twitch team member, and he is our resident Pokemon expert. This guy lives and breeds Pokemon Xeno509. How are you doing? <laughs> hey everybody, I'm doing fine. Oh my I'm goodness. Happy to be here. Dude, we're like we we got ex <laughs> exceptionally hyped because this trailer showed us a lot of things that we like to see. First and foremost, which I'm oh, gonna yeah. make yo, I'm gonna make another video on this, but Pokemon yeah. Snap! What? Yep, spoilers for everyone, but yep, they they oh, they answered our questions and our <laughs> prayers. Oh. oh dude. Pokemon Snap has returned, at least in some version. At least at the very freaking least they brought it back in some sort of way. Cause like now this could lead to potentially its own spin-off and like potentially a sequel. You know, anything, any freaking thing. I will grasp at all these straws, dude. <laughs> Man, we're so ready. But the, the main thing we want to focus on uh, in this discussion video is the advent of Type Null, a new Pokemon called Type Null, and the team known as the Ether Foundation. And yeah. I'm just, I'm, I'm looking at these Ether Foundation people, and obviously they all wear white. And Team Skull, what do they wear? They wear all black. And I really believe there's going to be a bit of a, you know... A rivalry between these two teams quote unquote uh because we do see in one point in the trailer they're having a little you know like debate over a pokemon it's like oh no this uh slow poke is with us it's like no that slow poke is injured we gotta take it back and heal him because apparently t uh ether foundation's uh main goal is to heal sick pokemon and but one thing uh geez one thing that really gets me like weirded out is that uh we we have a new pokemon named type null Already, that name sounds very weird because, I mean, for a Pokemon name, it's just like, it's type <laughs> null. What is that supposed to mean? That is the name they revealed for the Pokemon. That's not, like, a mistake. It's not a new typing for anyone confused on that. That is the freaking Pokemon's name itself, type null, at least for now. It might be, like, a temporary thing, so maybe they reveal the real name within the video game as we play it. But uh, who knows? Uh, it's just very, very strange. Also, it's class. It's a normal type, and it's classified as the synthetic Pokemon. So this is like a man-made Pokemon, right? You know, we oh, we we don't know who made it. You know, exactly. Uh, we've seen man-made Pokemon uh, before in the form of Mewtwo, and I'm pretty sure Porygon is man-made as well, right? Porygon, Magearna, uh Who else do we have? I guess Ditto. Ditto is like a failed sort yeah. of man-made Pokemon. Well, I guess it's a theory, but either way, yeah. You know, so it's it's all like. It's it's all in the realm of what Pokemon's usually done, but this is like a freaking Chimera looking thing. This it's thing looks like Full Metal Alchemist as hell. <laughs> right? It looks like fucking Frankenstein's monster, you know, but no lie. I'm glad you brought um Full Metal Alchemist because uh with each new piece of information for Pokemon Sun and Moon, we begin more and more uh alchemy themes in this game. And I feel that as a very dangerous subject for you know pokemon a kids game to like you know explore right because you know alchemy gets leads into some fucked up shit if you guys seen full of alchemist you already know right <laughs> but yeah. um yeah this this chimera looking pokemon is obviously you can see right away this thing is made up of multiple parts um if we're both looking at the pokemon uh right now wow yeah, i'm looking at it right now yeah all right so would you like to name list off the different parts of this thing Okay, okay, okay. So first off, I want to just get the like the really big thing out of the way. That freaking helmet, first of all, it's huge. This thing is monstrous, and it's actually uh, part of the description in the the Type Null's uh, Pokedex entry or whatever it is. The little synopsis they release for each Pokemon. Uh, apparently, uh, the helmet on it is designed to control its latent power. So this thing's supposed to be like uber powerful. This might just be a legendary Pokemon or a legendary kind of Pokemon. Maybe the pseudo legendary for this region, who knows? Uh, but not a dragon type, so maybe not. Uh, it's extremely heavy, so it also uh, hinders its uh, agility, supposedly. So this thing might be slow, but it might be a big powerhouse there, but it has battle armor. Um, let me see what battle armor does. I think it increases speed as it takes damage. No, 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 never mind. I'm thinking of something else. I'm thinking of like weak. Uh, but yeah, this thing protects against critical hits. So yeah, this thing's supposedly going to be slow, but it's going to hit super hard. And with the big, like, gladiator battle axe on its head, like, that's, it, it kind of shows this thing's kind of a monster. Uh, let's see, it, it kind of looks like, I'm just uh, speculating here, nothing really here is definitively from another Pokemon. But the, 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 the fur on the, on the neck kind of reminds me of, like, Furfru, like a Furfru type of hairstyle. It has, like, a, a Vaporeon looking tail ish <laughs> it has like bug uh, front feet and then it has like 
Umbreon back feet or something. <laughs> the bug feet look really insane. This thing looks like a demon. Like, I Dude, swear. Like, the more I look at it, the more disturbing it, like, it, it gets me. I'm like, this thing looks very... It, it, it looks horrifying to me. Like, it, it, just, it just does. But um, the one thing that we brought up as soon as we saw this, because, I mean, this came from the trailer mm -hmm. that just dropped today. The one thing that we both brought up was that the Ether Foundation, according to its description in the trailer, it nurses... It finds and nurses sickly Pokemon back to health, right? And already, I already told Zeno, I already get bad vibes from a team like this. Because <laughs> a team like this looks like one of those people's like, oh, we're going to make a perfect world whether you like it or not. We know what's best for humanity. We know what's best for Pokemon. You know, I get, I really get that huge vibe from this team. And I, it, it just sparked in my head. And, I, and I'm like, what if the Ether Foundation are the people who created Type Null using the parts of sickly Pokemon <laughs> that passed away. They find sickly Pokemon and they uh. use them for parts in order to make this Pokemon. Right, <laughs> like when Gio, when uh, Gio told me that, I was just like, what, this is, like, I, I totally can see something like this. It's really crazy because everyone looking at the Ether Foundation, you either get, I mean, I guess depending on who you are, they get really good vibes or really bad vibes. And like, for, <laughs> for as many shows as I've seen, People in all white tend to not be all they seem, and they just seem very fishy. Um, another thing, I wanted to point out the uh, like the chief in command. I think his name is uh, like, like Napa. No, Faba. His name yeah. is Faba. Yeah, he looks the most suspicious, but because he's a weird, creepy old man, I guess. But uh, I don't know. Maybe they. Maybe he's the. Maybe he's the head honcho. Maybe he's the one who's doing like behind the scenes kind of stuff. Because uh, now I have all sorts of ideas filled in my head about these guys. And uh, also the the vibes they're giving me is kind of like because uh, uh, HMK just said right now that uh, they they might be like the real villains. They might be doing some re really shady stuff behind the scenes. It kind of gives me like a Team Plasma vibe because he's Team Plasma. Uh, obviously was the team villains in the game but uh they they presented themselves as uh noble people they they wanted to you know save pokemon uh you know uh free them from their like uh <laughs> their captors their, their, yeah their captors their their slave uh people uh slavers so like uh yeah it's it's something i'm getting that sort of vibe from them and uh, also this is kind of an obscure little thing but uh this leads into the the other thing uh, that was kind of a big deal in the in the trailer the the ultra beast the big jellyfish thing yeah um in the japanese trailer there's i don't know if you've seen it yet but in the japanese trailer there's like a clip of the the head honcho of uh of the of the new Ether foundation Ether foundation yeah. yeah they they have her the the main trainer and the uh, the little rival kid all like facing like this super big portal that <laughs> When it, when like when it when it when you see something come out of it, like it's like this big glowing light, and then it's it reveals the the weird squid Pokemon. So it's like, oh shit! Like, did they freaking summon this thing? Like, <laughs> did they at the Ether Foundation summon this crazy thing, and then they had to make a Type Null to try and fend off these crazy Ultra Beasts? Like, also it's named UB01, so like Neon Genesis, anybody? Right? <laughs> like, like it's all like. <laughs> It's fucking crazy. It's anime as hell in here, <laughs> man. And then you know, one thing I always want—I want to point back to the Ether Foundation. Try, uh, like, I think maybe like the head bad guys and stuff. Because I mean, we're looking at Team Skull. Team Skull is obviously being pre presented to us as you know the main bad guys. But look at them. They're thugs. They're doing all this like petty shit, like you know, uh, graffiti and you know like vandalism and stuff. Like, I yeah. really don't get the vibes of like, oh, they're not gonna do any fucking Earth. Uh, shaker shit. They're, I mean, they're just thugs. They're people who couldn't like do anything with their lives, and they just make a team or whatever. I don't yeah. get any. I like. I really don't feel. What's the word? Uh, threatened. By, yeah. Yeah. By, they're not very scary. Like. Right? I, <laughs> I would hang out with a few of them. They, right? look cool. they look cool as hell. Like yo, know, but like straight up thuggery. But I mean, I, I I would not. I'm not threatened by these. I look at Team Ether. Uh, like Ether Foundation, I just look at them and I feel threatened by them already. I look at them, I'm like, okay, you guys, uh, you guys look like you have a little too much power, and it looks like you're doing a little too much freaky shit. <laughs> like, really? Like, come on! I mean, look at them. Yeah. Dude. Man, this yeah. is it's Team Magma and Team Aqua all over again. Like Jesus. Yep. Oh my God, yeah. So I'm I'm expecting some sort of relationship with the two. Um, I kind of hope that uh the leader of Team Skull is actually trying to like has like a super cool motive like where he's trying to like uh 
shine the light on what uh, Ether Foundation is actually doing or something like that. Right. Even though he's doing it by like you know like illegal means or whatnot, like it'd be really cool if like his main goal was just like just just be like, okay, yeah, we're we're shitty people, but these guys are pure <laughs> evil, you know? <laughs> right. Like get these guys, like they're harming the islands, you know? Like I would love something like that. Dude. So cool. And then I really feel like a vibe, a connection vibe between the three worlds of uh, you know a Pokemon Sun and Moon because we have. What we see, like, I showed uh, Zeno the picture of three members of each group, which is um, Team Skull, uh, the Ether Foundation, and I guess your regular party, like, you know, the, the, like, the neutral group, which are, like, they, they all look like siblings, which is, um... Uh, yeah, uh, Gladion, the new character they revealed also. Yeah. He's like a Team, Fo team Skull Enforcer, so I right? guess he's either a fanboy, I guess, or maybe, like, a... Like a hidden member or something, who knows? Right, and then we also have uh, Lusamine, who is the president of the Ether Foundation, and then we also have Lily, who assists the pro uh, the professor um, in this region. And look at yeah. all of them; they all have blonde hair. They their blonde hair like ridges in a certain way, and they all have green eyes. They they cannot not be related. Like what the fuck? Like look at them. <laughs> Two worlds, <laughs> one family. <laughs> Just your heart. <laughs> let's oh take my. this side <laughs> the guy's lives let me stop, me. Yeah, let's stop. <laughs> but yeah they they have to be related and i feel like there's gonna be some sort of like if um you know sibling rivalry or i just say like dysfunctional family type theme going on in the game because yeah, i mean yeah it's like it, it's it's pretty blatant you know, I don't know. I don't care what anybody says. It's like, oh, like, maybe they just all have blonde hair and green eyes. Or like, yeah, okay. In fucking Pokemon Land, where po people can have like blue hair and pink eyes, <laughs> get out of here. Yeah, and... I mean, I mean, and uh, the one other thing you pointed out to me, I don't know if you brought it up yet. The, yeah. the names. Yeah, the names. Apparently, the names uh, going like I did a little bit, a little bit of research, and the names, uh, especially uh, Lusamine and uh, Gladion. Uh, they loosely reference flowers, just like uh, Lily, and just like a lot of characters in um, in the Pokemon Sun and Moon yeah. that they're doing. Because apparently, like um, the Team Skull members, uh, what's his face, Guzma, and the big sister—I forgot her name, uh, Plumer. Yeah, it's like I've Plumeria or something like. Th they're flowers as well. And uh, when I did a little bit of digging, um, Lusamine and uh, Gladion, their flowers look. A little similar to that of a lily, so I mean, like that also may go in line with um, their, you know, their supposed uh, ties to family or whatnot. But yeah, um, theorized relation with, with each other for them, right? But their names loosely, like they're they're very loose. They're not like indirect, you know, like some translations and like similarity in words and how they're said uh, goes along with their flowers. Like I can, I couldn't find a direct um, reference to uh, to a uh, to a flower using their names. But, um, you know, it's like, you know, one thing still there type shit, but yeah, right. Yeah. Um, also, another interesting thing, Gladion is uh, supposedly owns a, uh, a type null. He owns a type null. He will uh, battle you with one of them. So look at this shit right uh, there. Right, right yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. He, mm -hmm. stole it. What yeah. He, he stole that shit from his sister. What if? <laughs> what fucking if, man? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't stop. There's so much to think about in this game. It's it's suspicious, and I love it. Oh I love how god. jam packed this is starting to feel. It's insane. Oh my god, dude, this is it's bad. <laughs> it's, so bad. <laughs> it's so bad, dude. But I'm I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. Yeah, I'm, I don't, I'm pumped up too. I don't think I've been this high for a Pokemon game in a while. I I I, I man. I, I, I'm, you know me, I'm a huge I know, fan. yeah. Like, so I've been hyped for every single game, every time they've been released. And this is no different, but this is looking super exciting. And I'm glad a lot of people are talking about it. And I'm glad Nintendo has been uh, revealing some info here and there uh, to keep us, you know, hyped up for what's to come. Because uh, if it was all potentially leaked out, that would have been super lame. And there are leaks, I know. Don't worry, guys. I know. We've been talking about it on our Discord. <laughs> oh, yeah. But uh, for the most part, like, I'm glad the official info has been coming up here and there. And it just it just all looks really exciting. This game looks fun. I love the Pokemon. Also, just to mention the few of the Pokemon, there's that new little raptor Pokemon, Jangmo. -mo? Yeah. Jangmo. 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 Oh, yeah. Jangmo. Oh, I yeah, think. Jangmo. Oh, yeah. That thing looks awesome. I hope this thing turns out to be the, the region's fossil or pseudo legendary. And like, it turns out to like a super awesome, like, raptor Pokemon, like a Hawaiian island raptor that'd be so sick i don't even know what it would what I, what I could even make it look like but in my head it just seems like it would evolve to something cool and uh <laughs> i mean how cool could it be if it has a heart on its face 
I don't I don't know, but I mean hearts could uh the heart could like break into a half, so it's like it's like jagged in the middle. It would look like it has like a two heart a heart broken and it would look vicious as hell or something. People are know. too fast. <laughs> what what? Look on Discord. Oh boy, let me see this. Yep, yeah, the full the fan art, yo, and oh some of the fan art coming out has been insane. Like people are so hyped for this and I'm loving it. I'm loving Man. it. People are too uh, bad. <laughs> I guess the last thing to talk about really is uh, Radicate. <laughs> no one, <laughs> no one suspected how he was gonna look, and uh, uh, he looks yeah. ugly as fuck. I hate it. I hate it. I'm like, <laughs> I was talking with Jill. I was talking with Jill before this, and she's like, I can't believe, like, I, I could not believe that Radicate could get any uglier, and they and it did. <laughs> like how? Oh my god. I personally don't mind. I think he looks kind of funny. I don't hate it, but I, I don't think I'm gonna be using this Pokemon. No, <laughs> especially considering he's dark and normal type. Like that times four against fighting. Ugh. Uh, yeah. No bueno. Unless they really fix his stats and give him super playability, I think he's just a kind of for fun Pokemon. But uh, either way, I'm looking forward to more Lola informs. This is just you know, kind of iceberg. like a, yeah, yeah, very much so. Dude, I'm 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 so high for this game. You know, like, and if you guys would have it, I will cover this game. Uh, as much as I can, and then also I'll have Xeno along for the ride because I mean, like, I need that Pokemon expertise. Speaking of which, guys, <laughs> if you guys love Pokemon and all that good jazz stuff, you should check out Xeno509's stream. He streams a lot of Pokemon 3DS games and Pokemon TC. The link in the description box below, so check that shit out. Hey. All right, so this has been like a Pokemon Sun and Moon discussion slash theory debate thing. I mean. Yo, fuck the Ether Foundation, man. I'm not. I am not rolling with them. I, their crew seems like too, <laughs> man. And the funny thing is, they, they they try to look nice, and I swear to God, I bet they're fucking demons under that shit, man. Yeah, they they look like uh, <laughs> they look like um, uh, when like angelic like post uh, not posture uh, uh pastures look like. Like all like saintly and heavenly, and it's like, yeah. you know, on the inside they're scum, you know. Right? Like, these guys look fishy as hell, but they look they look swag though. No lie, they look yeah. swag, but they're fishy as hell. Right. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and be sure to check out Xeno509's Twitch channel. Until next time, we will check you guys later. Peace. <laughs>